Hello, warriors, high traders, high investors that used to be traders. Uh, anyway, the title of this interview is Eclipse. The markets say Eclipse, so what? All right. Now, when you have these big macro astro events, it doesn't have to happen on the day. There's a window, just like all other cycles. And if you nail it within a week, that isn't bad. If you nail it within a day. Anyway, I want to uh, get into this. I'm not going to talk anything but S&Ps and VIX before I turn it over to Mike. I'm still and waiting it's, for the it's, it's introduction. Oh, yeah. It's 1104 EST. Time for Mike and me. That one? Please. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, Thanks. yeah, Mike's here, and uh, we're going to get uh, – I'm sure Mike's active on a day like this. I know he has some scalps. I'm interested to see if uh, what people are doing, if they're liquidating, because I see a correction coming, Mike. Okay. Okay. And I just want to show people so they learn what the anatomy of a correction is. And, look, I'm right a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm wrong a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, silver is still up, but I, you know, eked out a scalp of 20 cents. Gold has not turned yet, but, uh, really the weak, the relative weakness is equities. It's S&Ps. Mm -hmm. So anyway, last Thursday's action, uh, get, you know, gave me, uh, it was this, um, the belief that a correction may have begun because at the last four hour, first of all, you had the, you know, nice divergence, which has been going on. Look, you, you had divergence here too. Uh, but on the four hour, this was the first one under 70. No, that was a scar. So, so here, then we broke, right? So I said, you know what? Uh, we could have a reversal week to the downside if we close under, it was like 52.37 was the two week candle right here last week and i so this was my telescope got me in thinking about that then i went to the you know just binoculars which is you know four hour chart and we were down here i said well where would you sell a rally and i said i don't know 52 to 52 20 with stops over the high of the move okay so uh, the eclipse was coming, and I, th you know, didn't look like we were going to rally into it anymore. Uh, so really, the market peaked Thursday, a few days before, um, and now we're getting a secondary decline here. To me, what's important uh, is again back at the weekly that if we take out the nine day here. And that's coming in around 51 and a half, 51.50. Look at all the air in the market underneath it, like to five or 48 over the course of a you know, few weeks, a month. So that this is how, and plus we're going to have, I know it's only Tuesday, but if we close under this off number, 52.55, which I mentioned yesterday, maybe would try and rally to 55. Um, you have two weeks of two week reversals, and you know some of the darlings are falling apart. Uh, if Amazon ever folds, I, I think the market's in trouble. Anyway, that was part of it. And then last week, even though the market came back huge, it's the first time I saw this in a while. The VIX um, didn't give anything back. You know, we had this, you know, we had this up week, right? And it didn't give hardly anything back when the S&Ps recovered. It was here. It hardly gave anything back. And this, too, was a two-week reversal. You know, closed way above the prior two-week close. That's down here. And I wouldn't be short. And if you're short volatility... I would look to cover because I think there's a chance we're going to blow to 20, 20 and a half. Above that, there's something wild going on, you know. Um, anyway, uh, that's it. That's the anatomy of a correction. The VIX, 
on that recovery day on Friday never negated anything. Okay, so, you know, this was the recovery day. Hardly it was down 30, followed through a little bit yesterday, and here we are. So back over the 1650 level, you're taught, you'll get to 20. Um, that's what I see in corrections. And, and I think that this is possibly, you know, pretty close in line with the eclipse that I know you think is a joke. So um, anyway, I saw that piece you did about the eclipse, wearing them backwards. And <laughs> yeah, so you know what I mean? That's a, what's, the, what's, the, what's the positive? Yeah. The, the, the 60s, listen, I'm, I'm, 50, I'm in my 50s, coach. There's not many things that last for that, that, that last more than a minute and a half these days that gets you that much yeah. satisfaction. So that I'm was not, three. Yeah. So I'm not going to, what am I, you know, well, suppose I, you know what I mean? I'm trading the markets. Suppose I put the glasses on and this, you know, I put, put them on wrong. You know, the risk isn't worth the reward for me. Next. Yeah. So, you can watch it on TV anyways, you know, anyway. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I know a lot of people think if, you know, markets turn this week that they were going to turn anyway. It has nothing to do with the rhythms and the cycles of the universe. No, uh, the credit spreads know, are tightening. That's You want to know what it is? They're credit widening. Credit spreads are tightening. They're widening? Tightening. What do you mean? They're, uh, liquidity, is di liquidity, is getting, liqu liquidity is dying down. It's oh, dying okay. down a little bit. Okay, so that would normally widen. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Credit spreads are widening. You know what? I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at TGH. Credit spreads okay, are so widening. I, that, just that's risk, a, risk off. I'm sorry. All right, so put that together with Thank the you for and, and the technicals, and be careful if you're long. Right. That's if it. you're an aggressive trader, I think there's a good short. I told you and yesterday. That's why I put it out. I, Mike uh, thinks I had my headaches because I'm always shorting, and I do have a proclivity to be a bear. I'll admit it. I am too. But, Anybody with 50 is. But what if you're shorting something, you're long something else. Yeah, like, I I'm you, next. Sorry. you know, I'm long long the dollar when I'm shorting cable. Um anyway, I do I just want to update people on silver just quickly. I know it's been I I've been wrong, okay. News flash. It went everything went a lot a lot higher, even though I called the low to the day. It overshot my objectives. You find a trader, uh, most will be very happy if things exceed their expectations. That's correct. Yep. Uh, Next. You, know, you know what? You can, but I, yeah, I you'll go mad. It. You'll go mad I, thinking the other way. You'll go yeah. mad. Yeah. You can't. So, you know, anyway, Whoa. look, don't expect perfection at the crap table. So I just want to like show that. silver and the RSI pattern here. Okay. That looks good, coach. Okay. So I, you know, and then even if you go a little longer term, like to a four hour, say, what's this? I put up here a three hour. Okay. Look at the divergence at this high. Looks like a three drive to me. And really, the market exploded. People had weekly breakouts at 26, Mike. So it'd be natural for the market to pull back to. 26 for a buying opportunity. So that's your silver. That's okay. That's it. Yeah. Well, and I hope gold. I would get that, coach. Then we could talk about you saying that you're not going to talk about metals for another two years. Then I think if uh, we get about that, being we, short, yeah. The last pull, the, you know, correct. I think it'll be less pullback. Gold, I like uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to pull back to the overthrow line that's all the way down here or just back to 2300. If it does get under here, it'll shake out a lot of late longs because a lot of late longs came in here. And if they're not taking partial profits, uh, they don't know money management. That's well, what guys like PGH Pete, in Peter, Brandt, statement. Peter Brandt does. You know, that's what Peter Jack Brandt's a told. friend of mine. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Peter Brandt, the, art, the European art dealer? No, Peter Brandt, the uh, trader. Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, you did uh, that, Peter Brandt. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the <laughs> one uh, Jack wrote about. So anyway, if we get down to the throwover, that you know that opens the door. I don't, I don't know how deep it's going to be, but it's a very emotional market. Um, we're getting nice little reversals in Newmont. Newmont's diverging at this new high. GDX is diverging at this new high. Um, you know, many things are look heavy. 
So, I got you know, I, so you put up your moving averages and you look, maybe you buy this at 560 in the, uh, into May. You know, maybe it's a two, three week consolidation. Correct. Or you buy GDX back at uh, you know, uh, 30, you know. The first ones uh, that would take. I thought it was going to go to 28, but that's before it did this. Okay. So, you know, maybe 29 and a half would be a, a great entry there. Um, you know, and the silvers that doubled. I mean, do I wish I would have had all my position as um, Endeavor, which bottomed, I paid 150 for, the trade. went to three. But here's a three drive. The trade. I might be able to buy Endeavor at two bucks uh, for really? Tuna. I might be able to buy Fortuna maybe back here no. at maybe uh, not. This is a strength. This is the one I think could go to 18 long term. Um, you know, because sense. I showed the weekly. Here's the weekly. And then I want to the you know, I'm the dominating weekly. this damn thing today. It so uh let's see. Okay. So you have uh no, it's a monthly. Okay. FSM for me is three eighty eight. If it goes, that's what I'm do. What I would do. Okay, so you have a huge uh, rectangle, right? I mean, you go back, you know, twenty twelve, whatever. You have a double top at ten. Uh, you know, we bottomed here at two. Uh, after this bottom that we had, that you know we were part of, we had a very deep pullback. Now we're cracking through monthly moving averages. Okay, then that's four thirty nine for. Uh, anyway, so if we ever break out to the upside over 10, you have a, you know, $8 rectangle. Over 10 measures 18. So I started talking about this a year ago. So now it's happening. So any pullback, buy it. You know, of course, it's going to have stopping points, like, you know, maybe six bucks. Well, it's, you have a pause here. Get your fibs out and buy retracements now. And, um, that's it. That's all I got, Mike. It's, uh, so I want to know what people are doing today with the market selling off. And, you know, what are people saying about NVIDIA? Are people puking it yet? No, they're buying. Matter of fact, they're buying the queues below it. They're buying the queues. Yeah, I'll show them my screen. All right. Share they're, screen. Buying, they're buying uh, calls? Yeah. Okay. Right here. Here you go on a... Uh... I'll, well, I'll get I'll get the, the, the Jesus feed in a second as I go to my main screen. Okay. Here's the chart on Google. There's the daily. Does one make you know? I, I don't know. Does one make they make a pullback? Apple. I posted it on TGH that this was a day where Apple nine out of ten times the past ten years it always was up to one point. It was up, but you know yeah, what? It was. There's, yeah, there's rot there's, there's rotation. Man, it looked like it was breaking out yesterday. A lot of the wise guys were buying this thing. Uh, but that you know what? A good. lot of stocks pointing out the coaches that were acting strong aren't. A and F. Now you want to short it when it's down. I was telling everybody this. This is textbook. Yeah. The same thing with Uber. Uber was leading the rally up. Now Uber has yeah. been going down every day. C E L H was reading was uh, leading the rally every day up. Every day up compared to the S and P. Now it can't go. Now it, they're starting. They're starting to go to still stock picking. You know Tesla's bouncing. As the other ones are going down, Microsoft is waffling from year high to year low. Look uh, at uh, Amazon. If it if it reverses, it's been one of the strongest ones in the magas, and it's diverging up here. If that rolls over, look out. Uh, you know, they're taking stocks like APP that you know now is they're taking little profits on. Is maybe a stock like Adobe. That's been beating it up on there. They, coach, they're rotating. This is the yeah. chart on Tesla bouncing. This is a chart on something like Adobe that's bouncing a little bit. All right. So as Amazon takes a break and, and Google takes a break or whatever, so they you know they move on. Nvidia. Yeah. Now everybody's freaking about Nvidia breaking the uh, the nine hundred or whatever it is, eight fifty or SS, SMCI. You know there this rotation, hey, Mike, so and sure. people's aversion to selling thing and not buying something simultaneously. Um, is, you know, uh, one day that that's not going to work. Uh, you know, if we go to 4,800 and uh, back to the breakout in the S&Ps, you know, 
there's nothing wrong with selling things and then just, you know, waiting for things to get cheaper. You don't have to rotate out right away, do you? And to buy something else. That seems like what's going on. It's like uh, you go through a, a rinse cycle, but the water never comes out of the machine. It just recirculates into, you know, more clothes that are being dried. You know, you know what? Go, I understand that coach. We have, you know, we have, to, we have like, like I use the hopscotch situation. You know, it seems like they're getting out of some macro things. There's still a lot of things to do. I asked the uh, yeah. VST stairs. I mean, I thought I had a good trade in this thing. I was shorted. You did. I, I, I covered the last part, you know, 72.45. I covered some stock went to 68. I never would have held that. If I was down in it, I would have held it. But I mean, these stocks have $6 ranges. Uh, what else is moving? You know, VRT, another one that was going up every day. They're starting to take profits in these things. You know what? GDXJ. I, I told I had the trade yesterday. The major, if everybody goes back to yesterday's video, the major I took I took my short off at 4137. Now I made the hard money because it was a Monday morning and I, stock went to 4327. You know what I mean? I, I go to yesterday's video. I short I made decent money. And where's uh, Astro Gumbo with my UNG trade? Let's go to last Friday. As they sold it off, there was last Friday. Yeah. It was positive UNG, yeah. and they sold it into the close margin calls. It opened. This is April eighth. It opened. This is Boyle, and you yeah. and and uh, Astro Gumbo was saying you wanted to fade me. I know what you said, but hop on board. Put your ego aside. Uh, Boyle yeah. thirteen twenty seven to fifteen twenty, saying may it. It, you know what, Boyle, they've been doing the margin calls every every Friday afternoon on UNG. I haven't been taking a lot of it, but this pattern it's developing, that's all. Maybe it'll break pattern. Who knows? So yeah. I'll move on. It looks uh, F. Good. Fizzler, we brought up a million times. That's looking great now. The best of breed solar, as the other ones, CSIQ, for example, break down. So there's even best of breeds that are acting well in specific areas, as even go to uh, retail, Lulu, which was a former leader. Former leader, just like the other ones, VRT, Uber. So there's Lulu. Lulu's going up now. Some of the other ones are going up the other way, just like yeah. Adobe's going down. A lot down. of carnage so, in Lulu. There wow. is carnage. There's a lot of carnage everywhere. AMD. This was the, the AMD. Other Every other stock was rallying for when AMD was here, 182. Yeah. Now, it's, now I wouldn't even touch it. Avago, the semi. Let's look what MU is. Now MU had never MU was pull, having the you know these bull flags going up. Now it looks like it's changed course. Does it mean it's not a buy at one twelve? Maybe it is. But you brought up a good point. Maybe it's better to wait. You know what I mean? Yeah, that will I think come back because that RSI reading. Well, looks that's why good. I actually brought it up a little bit, Coach. Good eye as usual. Uh, pot stocks. Where are these things? CGC. All right. You know, had its run. Volumes dying down a little bit. Yeah. You know, now it's in a channel. Low volume pullback, if you will. Let's see what happens. Obviously, everybody believes they missed the meat of the run because the news was out. The volume was there. Uh, it went from 450 to 12. All right. So you know, don't look at, you know, don't look to make, you know, 30 percent over a night anymore. But they're still very tradable and they go with groups like ACB. They're similar. So trade stocks with group and volume. And, you know, with, Yeah. With, on with, a stock correction, I think these are, uh, you know, could be good buys cheaper. So, right. um, you know, just like the metals. Well put, Coach. How's uranium doing? Well, uranium, CCJ, you know, I, I don't oh, know. Oh, it rallied anything. all the way back to the highs. It did. Huh. Yeah. And the one that we had the most of that actually lagged but was taking the most amount of calls, note, was NXE. CCJ, the train had left, and then they got into this NXE, NXE Energy. So, you know, that was, the, if you want to follow uranium, CCJ is the best of breed. Obviously, UEC is the more penny stuff, read out for you know, speculative one, but you should be following uh, CCJ and NXE because those are the ones that took calls. Are, so the, natural said, gas, are the natural gas stocks, Mike, uh, uh, taking advantage of the rally we're getting in the Widowmaker? Well, there's yeah. RRC. I mean, I don't know, you know, is it reversal? I mean, it's been parabolic. Everybody, nice please move. go to any video. And I'm not patting myself on the back because it showed it was an easy trade. And I hate to say that word. I'm not super. SM. Coach, come on. Give me that. Well, this yeah. was one of our lot. This was SM. This is an, uh, this is energy, Matt yeah. Gas. And so is SU. 
I don't know what yeah, to tell you. You participated. I did, nice. and I still am. I don't have as much as I want. You never do, but never just like do. one of the one of the larger sayings, and when the mark, when you take a broader position, if you don't want you to watch your position, if you don't, if you want your positions to work, don't watch them. Yeah. You know, if I had 50,000, 60,000 shares, I would watch it. That's one of the hardest things of a trader to do is have your stocks go up and have, you know, a P&L pullback and hold it. Uh, if I don't have as much as I should, but I was, a listen, I was able to hold it and still did. So maybe they'll add nice. to a pullback, who knows? That, that's the toughest part of It is, business. Coach, and I appreciate that. It is. So, oh. listen, drillers are mixed. You know, you have Google up a dollar, Microsoft down a dollar, Apple's up a dollar. You know, let's see what happens. The, the movers in, you know, commodities. Uh, this D DXYZ is the hottest trade. For those that, that are active, DXYZ, last night, you know, the stock, you know, uh, April 4th was uh, 29. Last night it was 115. Believe me, that says yes. 105. What but did they do? Uh, there's the chart. And by the way, this goes from 47 to 100. This, you know, this is a $50 move. The XYZ tech, something to do with, uh, uh, you know, I don't even know. Okay. I haven't, had, I haven't traded it. Uh, KWeb taking some volume. I pointed out that Baba is taking calls now. I pointed in the room. Bob is taking calls. Don't kill the messenger. Every time I've said that, it's worked. KWeb some volume. Let's go here now to the wise guys. We'll just jump right away. WSO, no interest. Boeing, breaking lower. Soxel, bullish. Soxel, bullish. I, the Qs, I said before we came on. So they're buying the Qs and they're buying the SOC, the semis. Meta, if we happen to see any size call flow, they just, okay, so Meta. He's saying, you know, it is a crap, you know, for those bigger cap traders, Meta was breaking out and looked great. You know, maybe it pulls back and does a Microsoft for a couple of days. So the Jesus feed and what anybody says, what we preach here, coach preaches too, is let's see if it has, you know, it's coming back on low volume. Let's see if the option guys, because the option flow is drove, driving a lot of stocks these days. Not a lot of uh, people. I don't see any put buying. Well, not a lot of people can buy, buy a $550 stock. It's still all relative. I hope people understand that. But this is the proper thing to do. No matter what chart or no matter what the stock is, you should be looking at this type of run. If we happen to see any size call flow, they cost $50 million worth of calls. So it would obviously roll from that. So somebody took profits. So as a technical trader from here, I want to see it hold 500, 505. I want to see it hold the moving averages. And if it happens to break out of a flag here, you know, I want to see, Coach, you're better than that. I want to, see, to break out of 520. I want to see oh, this whole, you know, open the gap here, hold the gap at 520. So it's 512. I could do it in 10 minutes. So a couple okay. of other things as I leave off, Coach. Uh, U.S. dollar off the lows. TLT remains green. More claws. Katos bullish. BHR Dell bullish. An animal. Let's go here. Uh, a couple other things. I, I, some crap out there seeing some short hedging. That's what I pointed up. Maybe Adobe is considered crap at this point. I don't know disrespect of the behemoth, but it's been beaten up. Maybe they should go oh, silver red. There you go, coach. Yeah. TLT bullish. And here's the chart on the dollar. So... What I, what I look for is when when I look over the feeds that I follow and the predominant posts are the dollar, uh, TLT, you know, I got to watch these these macro situations now as we come up into a, a big number. So I know it's stock picking, but I know underneath I can't be uh, oblivious, you know, the, that the macro situation, at least for the short term, in my opinion, with the VIX, as you point out, Coach, will drive short term stock picking. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, nice you have to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you have to be, you have to listen, you have to be aware. Like I say, it's all a bunch of lines and numbers and letters being quotes and lines. it's not at this point. It's changing a little bit. You can't be oblivious. Don't just count your pips, count your blessings. Nice call, bro. Thank you, coach. Wait till there's Lulu, top left breaking low. Cisco breaking high. There's always something to do with volatility, okay? Disney, the yeah. bottom left near the highs. So, you know what? 
just get your prices. You know what I mean? Don't be a piker. Don't walk into as, as we're as there's a lot of buy. There could be some binary situations going ahead. Don't be the guy that walks into the BMW dealership. It pays a hundred thousand dollars for a car that's ninety thousand sticker. Get your prices. Don't be a pro. Don't be a pro at this point in the day in the cycle. Have some let pride it, in the trading. Let it come to you. Yeah, have some pride in the you know in your craft. Don't just do it. Thank you, Coach. All right, man. Passionate, Cheers. passionate guy today, like every day. All right. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. See you in the room.